it is so great to be together again. I hope that you enjoyed your week and I really hope that you got to enjoy some of the nice weather that we had yesterday. Last week, if you were with us, we heard about a little superhero who showed up just in time to stop a really big bully. This time, our superhero doesn't show up until the damage is done. But he jumps into action just like every other superhero does, and he still manages to save the day. It all starts when Jesus is in town preaching. A lawyer stands up and begins to ask about eternal life. Jesus asks him, what does the law state? The lawyer, all too familiar with Jewish law, replies, the law states, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. The lawyer then asks who Jesus considers to be his neighbor. Is it the person living next to me? Do they have to go to my kid's school? Instead of asking the lawyer another question in return, Jesus responded with a story. And the parable, as these stories were called, began with a Jewish traveler who's walking down the road. A group of bullies gangs up on him. They steal everything he had and they hurt him really bad. And then they ran away. This poor man was hurt so bad that he couldn't even stand up, let alone walk back home. Cell phones weren't around then, so he couldn't call an Uber to come and get him, couldn't get a hold of his parents, and there wasn't even 911. So there he was, laying on the road, hurt and afraid. It wasn't long before a priest walks by. Seeing him approach the injured man begins to get hopeful that the priest will stop and help him. But instead, the priest does his best to look away and, and not even look towards the man. He wanted to avoid him so much he crosses to the other side of the road so he wouldn't have to help. Next, a Levite walks by. Now the Levites lived in the same communities as the Jewish peoples but they viewed themselves as much more important. And thus, he was too good to stop and help a calm and Jewish man. So away he went, again leaving the injured man on the side of the road. By this time, the man wonders if he will ever get help. I am sure he is beginning to lose hope. The story, however, takes a different twist when a Samaritan appears on the scene. It's important to know that the Samaritans and the Jews were not friends. Seeing that this guy is his enemy, I am sure he thinks, oh no, is he stopping to make things worse? Is he going to just stand here and laugh at me? Much to the man's surprise, the Samaritan bends down and begins to help him. He cleans the man's cuts and scrapes, but then seeing how bad they are, he decides to place him on his own donkey and take him to an inn. In those days, an innkeeper would care for someone because there weren't hospitals, but it wasn't a cheap service. This Samaritan man not only provided transportation to the inn, he also pays for the care of the Jewish man who had been robbed of all of his money. This Samaritan showed compassion to the man and gave up what little he had to make sure he was cared for. Jesus uses this story to tell the lawyer that our neighbor really has nothing to do with geography. It's not about distance away from our house or school district. It's about whether they, it's not about whether they are our friends or not. Our neighbor is really anyone we meet who needs our help. Our Super Samaritan reminds me of some other people I know, a group of people who I like to call community helpers. They are the doctors and nurses, CNAs and firefighters, EMS workers and police officers. 
all around us we can see these amazing heroes doing what Jesus taught us to do, loving our neighbors as ourselves. Which is why this week, instead of creating a superhero, we are going to showcase the superheroes we already know. So, get a grown-up you live with to help you make a post about a superhero you know and love. Post it to their Facebook page with the hashtag VPKidsHeroes. When you post it, make sure to tell us a little bit about your superhero so that we can all stay connected. Before you go, I want to part I want to practice our verse again. Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Well, I guess that's all for today. Can't wait to see you again soon. Bye!